the tools palette contains many tools which we can use to operate and modify front panel and block diagram objects the first one is the automatic tool selection if automatic tool selection is enabled which we can judge by the brightness of the led and we move the cursor over uh, different objects on the front panel or the block diagram the lab automatically selects the corresponding tool from the tools palette we can disable automatic tool selection by clicking here and we can then select the tools manually so we start with uh, operate value tool which lets us change the values of the control next we have the positioning tool which lets us either change the position of the objects lets us resize the objects or we can also click and select the object so next we have the labeling tool which uh, creates a free label and we can create a, we can edit the existing uh, labels or if uh, captions are an, uh, are enabled then we can edit uh, captions too and uh, if we have a control which has some text in it then we can use this tool to select the text and edit the text using this tool next we have uh, the wiring tool which we use on the block diagram and uh, it helps to wire things up next we have the object shortcut menu which we can click and the relevant shortcut menu opens next we have scrolling which helps us to scroll uh, the window without using the scroll bars next we have a breakpoint which we can use uh, on the vi's functions nodes wires and structures and if we have a math script real time module installed then we have the math script node available and then we can also place the breakpoints inside the uh, lines of uh, list of math script node code which will if we run the 
vi then it will cause the code to pause at that particular point next we have a probe which we can use to create probes on wires or we can also use it to probe the math script node and if we run the VI then the probe window displays the values that have passed through the particular probe then we have a uh, get color which copies the colors for pasting with the coloring tool and lastly we have the coloring tool which we can use to color the object using the foreground or the background color and then clicking. 